The problem of growing old. Growing so old, perhaps, that husband, relatives, even children may have died, and you grow old alone. Unless you're lucky and find someone who cares, or someone who cares finds you. The majority of Australians are young. About two and a half million are under 10, six million are under 25. But even in this young country, there are more than a million people entitled to receive the old age pension. People whom society calls old. And one day, you and I will join them. Maybe we will have to grow old alone, unless we're lucky and find someone who cares or someone who cares finds us. The Leichhardt story began here 21 years ago. This suburban house, a gift to the Methodist Church, became a home for old ladies. It could accommodate only 22 and there was no nursing care. If they became ill, they had to be sent away. Today, Waruna can accommodate 65 and give them the nursing care they need. There's the Aldersgate Geriatric Nursing Home for 110 elderly patients. The Audrey Hawkins Memorial Geriatric Nursing Home, providing for 64 nursing cases. Annesley House with 120 senior citizens. Harold Hawkins Court, a modern hostel. Epworth House, a block of self-contained units. And Wesley House, in all accommodation for more than 500 people. Our newest project is Lockhaven in nearby Petersham. We'll build around this old home to provide 50 more beds in a modern hostel. The Leichhardt homes and institutions are controlled by a committee of management. Dr. Harold Hawkins has been administrator of the Leichhardt Methodist homes and hospitals during this 21 years of progress. The project has become a model for social workers throughout Australia but there's still much more to be done. The church is the centre of this work, but it's been largely from the people of the church that the money has come to enable more and more chapters to be written in the Leichhardt story. The Leichhardt homes are not a retirement village where people live in a completely elderly community. The homes and the people who live in them are part of the community. They come and go as they please, and the shops, banks and post office are almost right next door. We care for 500 people. 500 in an area with a population of 75,000. 500 in a city of 3 million. There's so much more to be done. The streets of Leichhardt have changed in the past 21 years. The old picture theatre isn't here anymore. It was sold 10 years ago and converted into this modern hostel, Harold Hawkins Court. It's a pleasant place to live, a home for those well enough to look after themselves and who need companionship and security. There are all too few facilities in Sydney for geriatric nursing and the demands on the Methodist nursing homes in Leichhardt don't only come from people who have lived in the homes and hostels. The standard of nursing is high and local doctors ask with increasing frequency for the Methodist nursing homes to care for some of their patients.
problem of the aged and handicapped is one which everyone must face personally. The problem of the aging parent or relative. The problem of growing old ourselves. Without hostels and nursing homes like these at Leichhardt, what will happen to them and to us? Each year there are more and more patients who need individual care. The cost of staffing the nursing homes is increasing and other labour costs are growing too. But the demand for labour has enabled the mission at Leichhardt to extend its work beyond caring for the sick and the aged. These people do not seek charity. All they want is security and the peace of mind they deserve. They will help themselves while they can. But one day they will grow too old to help themselves. They, and many more like them, will need your help. In January 1973, the Reverend Hugh Collett Smith became the Superintendent Minister to the Leichhardt Methodist Mission and Chaplain to the Homes. Following Reverend Dr. Harold Hawkins' retirement, Mr. Neil Robinson took up the appointment as administrator of the homes in June 1974. Executive members of the home are Reverend Hugh Collett Smith as its chairman. Vice chairman and voluntary architect Mr. Bill Brown has worked for many years as architect consultant to the homes and since retirement has given invaluable service as the honorary architect. The honorary solicitor, Mr. Rod Downing, has served for many years, and Mr. Ray Latham has given long service on the Committee of Management and is now the honorary treasurer of the homes. Here we see the executive members and the administrator inspecting Lockhaven, the 50-room hostel currently under construction at Petersham. This is a large home with much historic architectural merit. The main home is being preserved, while in the rear, modern, self-contained hostel rooms are being erected for 50 aged people. From the height of the front veranda, the view extends many miles over the Parramatta River. Times change. Whereas in the past everything was done to make people comfortable, it's expected now that we give people facilities which allow them to remain independent and active. To this end, a full-time activities officer has been appointed and operates mainly in the church hall between Epworth and Wesley, to which people also come from Harold Hawkins Court and Annesley for craft work, bowls and general social gathering. Here the ladies are at work in Martin Hall making onion dolls, dressing other dolls and making soft toys. One of our men residents makes mobiles. The ladies are proud of their work because while some of the items made are unusual, they're always things which somebody wishes to have and use and are readily saleable. The money is used to buy more materials and pay general expenses of the activities program. Half-day bus trips to local spots of scenic and general interest are provided and are available for the pleasure of all residents. Here we see the goods that the ladies have made on a display table at Harold Hawkins Court as the ladies welcome some visitors from the Methodist Conference. The visitors arrive and are greeted by a group of residents singing a song of welcome to the tune played by one of our residents. Following some formal introductions of our supervisor and activities officer, the visitors are invited to examine and buy the handcrafts made by our residents. Activities program has been extended to our nursing home, Audrey Hawkins Memorial House, and here we see the nurse assisting patients with a Mad Hatter's afternoon tea party. The nursing homes not only care for the aged, but provide interesting activities for the patients to become involved in. A sing-song proceeds. And after all is quiet, the patients return to handcraft. K. 
Keeping active and involved is an important part of nursing care. Mrs. Frances Brown was 100 years old in November 1974. She was born at Gulgong in New South Wales. Physiotherapy is a need of many of our patients, for it's the only way that weary limbs can receive new vitality. Physiotherapy is available in our nursing homes by arrangement with the Health Commission. Our aim is to employ a physiotherapist to care for our people. You've seen earlier in this film our contract packaging division, servicing outside industry and our modern laundry. Goodwill Industries also has an opportunity shop which involves a dry cleaning agency. All clothes are dry cleaned or laundered and ironed before they go on sale in our shop. We're always in need of clothing, furniture, household goods and any portable goods which can be brought to Goodwill Industries. There's hardly an article which cannot be renovated and sold with the dual benefit of raising money for our work among the aged and handicapped. But most important is the giving of employment to the handicapped people who work in Goodwill under the supervision of our dedicated staff. We now take you to September 1975, the opening of Lockhaven Hostel by His Excellency, the Governor, Sir Rodan Cutler. Lockhaven has been a wonderful success from its inception, which was marked by the gathering of the large crowd for the official opening. Here we see His Excellency inspecting Lockhaven residence accommodation, which is set around the courtyard. The rooms are modern, self-contained with their own bathroom and well-equipped with built-in furniture. We now move to 1978, with the administration of the homes as it continues under the chairmanship of the Reverend Hugh Collett Smith and the administrator, Mr. Neil Robinson, from the head office in Wetherill Street, Leichhardt. Great progress has been made with our welfare and therapy program over the last three years. In October last, the Aldersgate Therapy Center was opened by the moderator of the Uniting Church, Mrs. Lillian Wells, following a very successful open day, including barbecue. Here we see patients from the homes receiving various treatments, including the hot wax bath, the hydrocolator, ray treatment, and exercises using the overhead frame. A major part of the new centre is devoted to craft and recreational therapy. The activities programme started in 1974 and has developed into a full craft and recreational programme in complicated work as seen by the assembly and termination of printed circuit boards and telecommunications equipment the assembly and packaging of toys and other goods has assisted to achieve dexterity and development of mind and limb. Here we see a plastic draught stopper which is manufactured and marketed under license and has the advantages of slipping under the door without fixing and remains in position when the door opens and closes. Our training program for employees ranges from assistance with literacy, numeracy and money handling to social skills and work assimilation. Our modern commercial type laundry has been extended. The newest pieces of equipment are 85 pound automatic washing machine and an 85 pound drying machine, together with a new layout has improved workflow and efficiency to cope with a weekly 6,000 pieces of laundry. Our bus and full-time driver provides outings and tours ranging from local shopping, outings for nursing home patients to full-day tours. Holiday tours of three to six days are also arranged. While people continue to grow old and live longer, there will be a need for us to continue to offer comfort, privacy, security and loving care at whatever level it is needed. The range of our accommodation includes self-contained units, hostels and nursing homes. There are facilities for those who are able to live actively, but also comfort for those who need comfort. The principles of service, traditional in our heritage, are a unifying expression of practical discipleship, as Leichhardt Uniting Church Homes and Community Services works in the community, caring and giving service. Thank you.
In the words of John Wesley, go not only to those who need you, but to those who need you most.